my top five is going to have Boston Whalers going to be in there for whatever reason, they hold their value forever. They, they just do. They hold their value. People love them. They are a really good haul. The brand as an overall package it just has a strong brand name. They hold their value. Me, I'm personally only really a fan of the older whalers. So the 70s, 80s, those older boats like that, even some of the 90s, the newer Boston whalers, I'm not that biggest fan, not that big of a fan of, but again, the brand holds its value over time period. Then the next one I'm going to say is going to be the pursuit. So pursuits I am a fan of. I am a big fan of a pursuit. I love a tiara. I love a pursuit. They look nice. They ride nice. Then they hold their value for a very long time. And you can find quite a bit of them out there that need to be restored. So I'm going to say a pursuit all day. They hold their value and it's a great boat. I'm also going to say a contender. They hold their value and there's quite a few of them out there that need to be restored and you can find them. I'm not the biggest contender fan. I like a pursuit way more than I like a contender, but they're an all right boat. And again, they hold their value. Grady White, I had to put on the list. They, they hold their value. There are a ton of them out there, especially older ones that need to be restored. And so when you get a restored one, there is a market for them and people like them. Then the last one that I'm going to put on this top five list is going to be a Parker, even though I'm not the biggest Parker fan either. But again, they hold their value and there's a ton of them out there that need to be restored. So it is a good um, brand to go into. Now, some honorable mentions. Well, actually, you might be wondering, why didn't I say something like a CV? Because everybody knows my favorite boat is a CV, but they don't exist. You don't, they, you can't find them. They don't exist. People that have CVs keep CVs and they just rotate around within the CV community, I guess you would call it. And they just don't exist. You can't find an old worn out CV that needs to be restored that you're going to get on the cheap. They're hard to find. So if you find one and you can come across one, you better scoop it up because it won't last long. Honorable mentions. I'm going to say Intrepid's. Intrepid's hold their value, good brand, good boat. There's a lot of them out there. Formulas, Scouts, uh, Stamus, Stamus, same thing. Um, on the Scout brand, I mean, again, there's not as many out there, but they they hold their value, good brand. A Hughes, they're also a little bit tougher to find, but awesome boat. It's more of a flats boat. Same thing as like a Maverick. So any of those great brand, they hold their value. And sometimes you can find them. There's not a ton of them out there, but there are, um, fountains, Chris crafts, uh, Donzies and pathfinders. Those are going to be what I would say brands that hold their value over the long term. So these are all brands that have decades of boats in production and been sold. So they have, you know, 40, 50, 60 years of models and they've held their value over the long run. That's why I picked the names that I put on the list. Now, if you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode over here or you can watch another one over here.